It involves uh, little shipping channels, there's quite a few obstructions and wrecks and things to look out for. Wow. It's only one in the wall, the yeah. only one. It's a pretty vibrant place, isn't it? Yes, there's it a, is. There's it's a lot of things going on. Yep. But we like it right here in the Anchorage. We've left the lovely island of Bidang, had a nice few days there, and uh, now we're heading to Penang. Now we're going to go down the inside of Penang. Uh, it's a very busy shipping area and most excitingly there is a bridge to go under. And if I remember rightly we haven't taken Esper under a bridge yet unless we did down the Suez Canal, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, there's a clearance of about 25 metres, well, between 25 and 28 metres. As it stands, Esper's uh, air height, uh, air draft rather, is 19 metres if I remember rightly, for, uh, to the deck, and then obviously another couple of meters underneath that. So, we should be okay. But uh, it involves uh, little shipping channels, there's quite a few obstructions and wrecks and things to look out for. Uh, but uh, we have it on good authority that it's uh, fairly straightforward. We go under the big bridge and around the big sandbar and find uh, an anchorage uh, on the east side of Penang. two marinas on Penang, this is one of them. This is Batu Uban, just by the old bridge. And this is Straits Key Marina. But we like it right here in the anchorage, opposite Penang. This episode is all about Penang, completely different from where we were last week in the beautiful deserted island of Pilau Bidan. Here it's urban and it's fast and it's furious. It is. Now, if you've been following us for uh, uh, quite a long time, you'll know that we have already done an episode on Penang some time ago. Mm. We'll put a link in the description, or if you get those little notifications in the top right corner, there's a link to it. Uh, this time, though, we decided, rather than walking around the streets of Georgetown, we hired scooters and drove around and got to meet some locals and ask them about their opinions on where they would recommend us as tourists should go and visit and where we should go and eat. We have 
come to our new favourite vape shop, which is called Mad Mods, and I'm with Paul, who's the proprietor. Where would you recommend on Penang the one place you would recommend? Okay, I would definitely recommend the old heritage uh, like uh, area in, uh, in 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 town where you get to see like the pre-war houses and everything. So there's a current though, art scene, music scene there. So I think it's a good place to get to know Penang first. It's a pretty vibrant place, isn't it? Yes, it there's is. A, there's yes, a lot of things going on. Yep, yep. And this is something that uh, we've discussed with other people and how Penang is just, it's hugely multicultural. Yep. There are so many things going on. You, yep. you can't get bored, can you? No, because uh, Penang consists of uh, three main races, right? The Malay, the Indians, and the Chinese, right? So basically, like the town area is like a little collage of them all, right? So you get to see a little India, little China, a little like a uh, Muslim area. So, you know, you get a little, sense of uh, history when you walk through that. As we alluded to in a previous episode, the marine environment has been playing havoc with our camera equipment. This is our old camera and it started to play up a little. So we were in the market for a new camera. Yeah, we are. And one of the great things about our Patreon and Rum Fund supporters is that they help us to get better equipment. We've been gradually upgrading over the last couple of years and the main camera, your lovely, lovely Olympus, has really had its day. So thank you Patreon and Rum Funders for allowing us to buy a better camera. Which we did in Penang. What do you think of it? Uh, it's a lot smaller than I was led to believe. Obviously we don't have a lens on it, we haven't got the mic on it, but uh, I think in terms of uh, vlogging camera, it's pretty good. And the screen works. We are here at XL Camera Shop and I'm with Jason. And Jason is sitting behind my new camera that I got in the shop. So uh, we just thought we'd come back, have a quick chat with Jason and find out from him a bit of local knowledge on Jason, where is the best place to eat in Penang? Where is the best place to eat? Uh, there's actually a few places. You can go to McAllister Mac Road or maybe you can go to Kimberley Street. So where if you go to Kimberley Street, the uh, famous food is actually the duck soup um, porridge noodle things. So Jason, I understood the best place to eat in Penang is in your house. <laughs> yes, yeah, because most of the time uh, my family cook, yeah. okay, my mum do cook, so I most of the time I eat uh, home food. Yeah. And actually if you compare to the food outside, it's actually a lot more healthy. <laughs> Penang is everybody's really really friendly and I just popped into the chemist to get yeah. a couple of things and you were really helpful mm. and of course we got chatting as you always do here and it turns out that Kelvin follows sailing blogs so obviously we told him all about ours. Yeah, true. If anyone was to come to Penang where yeah. would you suggest they have um, to visit? Cool <laughs> yeah welcome to Penang. Thank you. Yeah uh, if you ever do Penang the first thing you should try is a Penang Chandoi. It's a Penang root. The Chandoi yeah. is a kind of uh, it's a bowl of ice with some syrup and some local delicacies. It's really sweet, it's really nice. Uh -huh. Just want both eyes in hot weather, it's really good. Okay. Yeah, give it a try. What would you say to people who are thinking of coming to Penang? How would you, how would you say to them you must come? 
what would it be the big draw? What's the biggest thing? Um, that will be like, it's really safe here. It's mm -hmm. kind of like uh, multicultural. There are lots of people different. This is the only place, that one place you can see different culture in one place. Yes. You can see Chinese temple, you can see like Malay temple, you can see Indian temple. Yes. And there are lots of different occasions here. Yes. So you can enjoy like few occasions, just one place. Yeah. yeah. And if we were going to go and visit a place or a temple or, or natural place, cool. where would you suggest um, people go? There's a very special place in Penang, there's one thing called Keloxi Temple. It's a Chinese temple, it's a really huge, but uh, you should come here during your Chinese New Year oh, time, yeah. where yeah. the entire temple is lit up at night, oh, with wonderful. LED, different colours, LED, for a month. Wow. It's only one in the world, the yeah. only one. So we just battled through Sunday afternoon traffic, a little bit busy, uh, always a bit dangerous on the scooter of course, uh, going, especially going over those flyovers. Anyway, the reason why we've um, braved the traffic is to get to Keklok Sea Temple and that is what you see behind me. Right at the top is a rather splendid statue which we're going to go and take you up to. Ticket up and down, six ringgit. So here she is standing right at the top of the mountain. This is Kuan Yin, and she is the goddess of mercy. And when I last came here, they were still building this uh, gazebo pagoda, would you call it? A gazebo, one of the two. Uh, they were still building it and uh, it looks like they haven't finished yet they've still got some scaffolding and i'm guessing they're going to be painting uh, these columns but she's quite impressive and you can see her from many many miles away this is actually why i like coming up to this particular temple because look behind me uh, you have a view of pretty much all of georgetown actually so this is now looking almost sort of south i suppose back onto the river and over on the other side you've got uh, Penang mainland and it's, uh, it's a pretty impressive view. This video was brought to you with the love and the support of our Patreons and our RUM funders. If you'd like to get involved, go to followtheboat.com forward slash thanks. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe to this channel. YouTube is suggesting you watch this, and we're suggesting that you watch this.